you know, one of the things we talked about down three, you know, not playing well um, with defining moments of your season. You know, it's not always going to be handed to you. You want to be battle tested for the playoffs. You know, our goals, we have big time goals, and uh, we did not play big time lacrosse today for a large portion of, of the game. But sometimes the best lessons you learn are, you know, when, you're, when things aren't easy and things that you're not at your best. I think it shows, I mean, since we're getting close to the conference and no game is going to be easy, so it shows we can stick with anything we play and pull out a win. You know, Michelle Rubino stepped up in a big way when she had to. Um, you know, they, they have a great defender there on her and Michelle had her way with it today. So um, I think we were able to move the ball better and talk more. We were able to see what they were doing. You know, we got a good spark off the bench. Yeah, Emily Mercier had a big you know, game-winning goal there on a free position shot. Um, but, you know, like I said, it's not always going to be a thing of beauty. Sometimes, you know, the ugly ones are the ones that kind of, you know, playoff games are not 14-1 or 15-2 or 12-5. You know, playoff games are tight games. And, uh, you know, I haven't been in one of these now or a couple of them, you know, the other game with Notre Dame. It's uh, hopefully it prepares us for the end. It also teaches our kids. We're a young team. You know, we didn't show up today. Um, so it, it hopefully it teaches them that we got to play a full 60 minutes and it's important how we pre pre prepare to come out on, onto the field and that you can't just roll out here. But that being said, you know, uh, I'm proud of him. He showed, you know, an ability to, to bounce up off the carpet and make some plays when, uh, you know, things weren't so pretty.